you would miss this if you were just walking a little too quickly. Wow, I mean, perfectly adapted. Look at those front legs, they're more green. The main body is more brown. Perfectly adapted in this kind of fresh growth. Just walking by, rummaging by, you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see that. It looks exactly like this. Look, brown, little green stems. Perfectly camouflaged. Oh, cool, cool, cool little stick insect. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in South Texas, and I'm looking for some more friendly, shall we say, insects. These are herbivorous, and they're quite well camouflaged. So, Let's take a look at some of this arid scrubland, South Texas forest, and perhaps, just maybe, we can find precisely the sneaky deceiver I'm looking for. So, let's go. So I know I saw some here yesterday. This little, like, whatever this is, honey mesquite or something. Plenty of orthopterans, which I do not need. Oh, little Katie did. Let's see here. Come out, come out, wherever you... Oh, got one. <laughs> Easy peasy. You're not getting away from me. Take a look at this. You would miss it if you weren't paying attention. Where did you go? Yeah. You can see how well camouflaged they are. You would miss this if you were just walking a little too quickly. This right here is a stick insect. Now these are what we call phasmids, and there's a lot of really cool and unique adaptations that these animals have. One of the coolest ones is that the females can actually clone themselves in many, many species. And what I mean by that, clone, is that the female can lay eggs even if she hasn't mated. <laughs> and those eggs can develop into exact genetic copies of herself. Calm down or learn how to climb better without falling. Look at that. Wow, I mean, perfectly adapted. Look at those front legs, they're more green. The main body is more brown, perfectly adapted in this kind of fresh growth. Really interesting little stick insects. Wah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Throwing animals all over the place. Jack's World of Wildlife. What are you doing? But look at this. This looks to be a little male. And you can tell because take a look at the end of his abdomen. If he'll sit still. See that kind of hoop that little clasp at the end that aids him in connecting to the female's abdomen when they mate because although she doesn't need him to reproduce he definitely needs her to reproduce otherwise his life shall be wasted unless of course he gets eaten by something else but of course you see where they get the name stick insect they have adapted perfectly some even crazy so, to a life of camouflage. Because you would not see this, a bird or, or a person just walking through, you would have to really know what you're looking for and look for movement and these antenna flashing around to really be like, oh, there's a stick insect there. Cool little creatures. Now these belong to a group of animals called phasmids. And that is all of our stick insects and leaf insects and, and um, big jungle nymphs and things like that. And they feed on vegetation. Uh, they're not carnivorous. They just kind of rummage around, rely on that camouflage to live in bushes and trees and things like that, or even grasslands. And they just hang out, munching on food all day. What interesting little creatures. All right, well, we'll let this one crawl back into the bush and we'll see if we can find one or two more. There you go. 
take a look at how well camouflaged this animal is, folks. Just walking by, rummaging by, you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see that. He looks exactly like this, like brown, with little green stems. Perfectly camouflaged. Ouch, thorns. Thorns. These bugs are eating me alive. We don't need you. We don't right. need any. You've got Isaiah to film Jack's Road Wildlife. Another one. Another little male. Well, we've been looking for a few more minutes and haven't seen any more. So, this little interesting male will be our last little subject of our ah, mosquito of our little stick insect video today. But once again, take a look. Awesome camouflage, herbivorous lifestyle, self cloning. Really interesting little bugs. Should I put it on my face? Golly, these mosquitoes will let me alone. No. Oh, cool, cool, cool little stick insect. Really interesting, really cool. One of the more benevolent insects you can find in South Texas. Not nearly as fearsome as some of the ants or wasps or katydids even. Um, really, really awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about these interesting little stick insects. Got to see some cool animals. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and buy our brand new merchandise. And don't miss any of the new content. There's so much. There's so much new content all the time, every week. You don't want to miss it. So stay watching and stay watchful for new episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in to the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife. No. Wow. Super strong. Okay, buddy. <laughs>